Um, it's unfortunate, you know, obviously we want to make the playoffs, but I mean, as long as there's a chance, we're going to keep playing. Um, so all we could do is focus on Baltimore and winning that game, um, and then focus on the next, and, and whatever has to happen, happens, but, um, you know, it's just tough. Why didn't you guys have your best today? I don't really know how to answer that question, you know, it's like, we just didn't, you know, it's kind of, it's a tough question to answer. What happened on the, on the interception? It looked like it was way over, way over your head. Um, you know, football, he made a play on the ball. Do you have any opinion about the, deferring the coin toss and putting their offense on the field first? No, I mean, like Jarvis said, you know, that happens pretty much, you know, we all, you know, the team usually defers, they get the ball, they're going to obviously receive the ball. Um, and, and that's just what happened today. Is it kind of sad, or very sad, I, I guess, that you guys, that it's basically the end of the road today. I mean, you needed to win out, um, and this is kind of basically it. How, how unfortunate or sad is that? Um, it's tough. You know, we wanted uh, an opportunity uh, to make it to the playoffs, and uh, I guess we have to wait and see what's going on with everybody else. But all, all we can do is, is um, focus on the next game and, and just Keep your head up. Um, in retrospect, there'll be many more football games. Um, so just prepare for next week and see what happens. It's amazing in week 14, you're still getting questions about the inconsistency of the offense. And the way that this team, when you've looked at it on paper early in the year, I know you've played hurt all year. Yeah. I don't think Baker's had maybe his best year, but just how inconsistent the offense has been. Um, it's, just, it's just been unfortunate. You know, there's been a lot. Um, that's going on, and it's just been tough for us. So, you know, as a team, we we stuck together. Um, we just didn't have the outcomes we wanted. I know you might not want to speak for Jarvis, but can uh, you know we saw the sideline, the heated exchange, and things like that. Can you, you understand that sort of frustration where it just kind of gets to you? Um, I didn't see it, but when you when you have a guy like that who who puts his all into this game, endless hours of rehab and, and his craft and and what he. His attention to detail in the film room, you know, he he wants to be great. He, you know, he, we speak of legendary things, and uh, when, when you come out and you don't have the same opportunity to do that, um, it's tough, you know, and we, we love this game that much. We care for it um, probably too much. You know, it's, unfortunately, it's, you know, we're not, we're more than a football player, but it is our life, and it's such a, a short window of opportunities that, Every time we want to take advantage of it and make the most. So I understand him. Um, you know, I just know he wants to be great. You've said that you're you're all One in. More here. You, you've said that you're you're all in as long as you guys have a chance to make the playoff. If for for some reason you guys do get mathematically eliminated, would you consider sitting the last couple of games in order to, to start to, to rehab and heal? Uh, it's a decision that we'll you know, find out at the time comes. But as long as 80s on the field, as long as these boys are out here, I'm gonna go out there and get my all. Um, you know, love football way too much to think about, you know, sitting out and, and doing all these things. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm here for this team. And um, like I said, we'll see better days. Along so those lines, are you going to play the last two games? Um, yeah, like I said, I'll see when that happens. I can't give you any decisions right now. Uh, but, you know, we'll see when the time comes. Are you confident this group can stick together through the end with the last two games being what they are yes, now? We have no choice. Um, all we have is each other, so we have to stick together. Let everything play out. We'll see. Do you guys still have um, respect for Freddie? I just see a lot of guys yelling at him all the time. Do you, does this team still respect him? You know, I don't really see that. You know, we have nothing but respect for Freddie. Um, I love him, so it, it's just been a, it's been a tough season for all of us, you know, uh, and, we're, and we're all you know, levels are running high, emotions, and um, we all care for this game a lot. So I think that's that's the only thing. Is it hard to believe? I'm sorry.